Hello, in this video I'm going to be discussing should we use or can we use cooking oil in your diesel engine. Uh, the short answer is no, don't do it. You can uh, stop watching now and hit the like button if you want or uh, stay tuned for the reasons why not. So um, my uh, a close relative of mine, close relative of mine, for a number of years ran his diesel car, which is the Ford Mondeo that you see me working on the estate, uh, on a mixture of diesel and, and quite a lot of cooking oil. And uh, he used to get bottles like this, five bottles, and at the height of the diesel price, about 2014, uh, where the diesel price was I think about pound fifty a litre uh, so it's astronomical he used to use plenty of this as well as uh, producing a lot of plastic bottles uh, as wastage which he, he you know, he shouldn't really uh, do he uh, screwed up his car uh, and in the end he screwed up so much he had to give it to me uh, so one thing led to another and also the clutch went and the thing was just chucking out smoke like crazy. So he used to go along, and I think he used to put about 80%, uh, use 80% of his fuel as cooking oil. Now he used to always say, oh, it ran, it ran really, really smoothly. The engine sounds really, really smooth, and uh, it's chucking out less smoke, which was nonsense, really. The amount of damage he did to that car, I oh, will show you in a second. So what he, the question, like I said, is, can cooking oil run on a diesel engine? Yes, it can run. If it was an emergency and you had no way of getting back, you were stuck in some tundra somewhere, freezing to death, and you found some cooking oil. Yeah, use it. Or if you're trying to, you know, you're so short of money, you just had to make it for the week. Sure, use a five liters just to get you through just at once. But um, if you do that, surely flush out the injectors with um, some diesel clean as soon as you uh, can, as soon as possible. So these engines, these all diesel engines, cannot take for a long period of time um, cooking oil. In fact, I remember running into a mechanic once. He himself used cooking oil, and uh, but I guess after a while he found out that you can't because it screws up the engine. Now. This is the Ford Mondeo that I've been talking about, and this part here is the actual turbo. So Ford Mondeo, the two-liter TDCI, has got what we call a twin turbo. Um, no, no, it's not. Two, it's a two-stage two single turbo. And these veins, these are actually meant to be veins, and here's the, uh, the part of the turbo. What happens is if you sort of gently turbo accelerate what happens is it's, it's meant to spin as normal uh, but this is not the spinning part the uh, spinning parts behind you, you can't see but these are the veins but when you press harder for high acceleration these veins open up so you get like a twin two-step kind of massive turbo boost on the second step and as you see here there's loads of crud around there. there's no way I remember opening this thing up and it was totally caked full of this black crust and it could not there's no way this could turn it was stuck solid it took it took, probably took me about uh an hour to clean maybe if that and it was a such a fiddly thing when these had these all came off and i lost end up losing i think one of these and then it was on the floor it was you know i thought i lost it and then it took me ages to find it and it was a real pain i was considering putting an alternative piece of metal in which of course probably would melt the turbo down in the long term because it would just melt and it would just talk. it would run really funny and it'll melt after a while um so there's a closer picture of the crud encrusted uh turbo and the other half of it so this is the actual turbo end uh this is where this this thing here is where the um the vacuum pipe goes and the actuator is here, the vacuum pipe goes in the actuator and it, it, it's meant to swivel the veins so we're looking at the other side and that 
bit there is the compressor look what that crud around it even the compressor is surrounded with crud and I think this is the cleaned up version I think cleaned up version I think it is it looks much cleaner I think I cleaned it and this is it this is it it's just sitting on a bench uh, also I put a link this is the EGR pipe that led to the EGR and it, I'll put a link uh, at the bottom or a link on the screen where I tried to clean the EGR pipe this EGR pipe was completely caked from this end all the way to the other end in this black crap just there I'll just play it quickly and this video here how to clean the clogged EGR pipe tube uh, I explain how I did it but I'll just play it really quickly okay, how to get the crud off the uh, inside the EGR pipe this pipe was completely clogged from one end to the other for the EGR all right so uh, that's that's a problem it can cause if you use uh, diesel f as a fuel and as alternative fuel. And recently, I um, in another video, I um, opened up this area again, EGR pipe, uh, and this is after two years of using normal normal fuel that you pay for at the uh, the uh, petrol station, and it was completely clear, not not a tiny bit of crap in it and also another telltale sign that's another thing it gets screwed up which i haven't mentioned is the uh the cooler for the um the air that's coming in that's being compressed as it goes through a cooler and i opened it up recently and it was completely uh free of any any kind of blockage whereas conversely the old one i had to take off was unusable it was completely caked in um, absolute hard tar and uh, I remember breaking this kind of drill I had just trying to drill the thing out I was using a uh, accelerator cable as a drill bit to try and drill it out uh, and another video I covered that and it was absolutely an absolute disaster so it just screws your engine up rawly de definitely in three areas uh, EGR your um, turbo and uh, your any kind of turbo in inlet air cooler as well. All right, so don't do it. Okay, it's not worth it. Uh, please hit the uh, like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you're a subscriber and watching it, thank you very much for watching it. Thank you very much.